Hi, I'm Adam, Prince of Eternia and Keeper of the Secrets of Castle Greyskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic <gasps> sword and said... No, 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 you can get your magic sword out when you get home. Go on, on your way, go on, go, be on your way. You, you and all, go on, bog off, go on. Those pesky budget video gamer developers are at it again, this time with an adaptation of the He-Man cartoon. There's an original story here, but it's lost behind some rather lacklustre hack and slash gameplay. You have a number of weapons to choose from, but there's not enough variation between them. It's like God of War without the fun. As is often the case, Skeletor has hatched a plan to capture Castle Greyskull, and it's up to He-Man to stop him. Along the way you'll encounter an army of clone soldiers and boss battles with Triclops, Beastman and a final showdown with Skeletor. Quests are rather dull and don't engage the player and the attack combos don't seem to do much damage. The camera moves around so much you end up feeling a bit queasy. Or that could just be the game generally. Collision detection is another problem, in that there isn't any. Characters disappear into walls and pulling off a combo attack relies on your enemy standing still. Combos are also reliant on building up a Greyskull energy bar, which leads to a large difficulty spike as the game progresses. As energy is scarce, and enemies are bountiful. Before you ask, you do get to ride Battle Cat, and no, it really isn't very good. 